welcome to the Hallaby Homestead. We have gotten a lot of snow overnight and I'm just going to go outside for a walk, see how much snow we got. And also I got some stories to tell you. <laughs> So first of all, I want to thank everybody who's subscribed and uh, all of our uh, new subscribers. We've gotten a lot of uh, new subscribers lately, which is kind of cool. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we appreciate that. And uh, it's kind of neat. We started our YouTube channel mainly to document our adventures for ourselves, but it's uh, it's nice to share uh, kind of our journey and what we go through with others, especially those who are thinking about homesteading themselves or or others who have just started homesteading. And uh, it's kind of neat. I'm putting on my overalls because it's like minus ten or minus twelve outside. It's pretty cool. <laughs> out here <laughs> okay so story time <laughs> uh, let's see on Friday night um, it's Tuesday now but on Friday night we uh, so just long story short we have a dog pen that we set up um, at the front of the house and um, it's fenced in so that the dogs are safe at night and anyway, so I'd let the dogs out and uh, when I went to let them back in, our husky was really nervous and shaky and stuff. And anyways, I went out and I looked, I didn't see anything. And, uh, you know, so I just thought like, you know, with a husky, like a leaf fell off a tree or something. Anyways, the next morning, um, we were... Uh, out here and you can see this is our dog pen and uh, you can't see them now because of the snow but um, there were giant uh, and I say giant because they definitely were not our huskies paw prints um, I think they might have been a wolf but there was a track that came through here from the woods and it came up here along the outside of the pen and then like at the corner where I'm pointing I don't know if you can see that there was uh, some wolf scat right there so I think we had a visit with a wolf <laughs> um, I don't know we should probably set up a trail cam out here to see um, but that was uh, that was our experience it kind of scared me because I didn't think uh, a wolf would get that close we do have wolves and they're quite vocal and, and loud around here. Um, but maybe the dogs uh, drew them in, I don't know. So on the topic of uh, new subscribers and YouTube and all that stuff, I wanted to ask you guys what you wanna see from our channel. So I've always been a fan of um, those vlogging type channels where people just kind of talk about their day and what's, what's going on. Um, but I want to hear from you guys what you want to hear, what you want to see. Because um, like I said, mainly we started doing this to document it for ourselves. Um, but I also think that um, I want to make videos for you guys that you want to see that are delivered in a format that you guys appreciate. So let me know. <laughs> um, so speaking of that, I'm a huge fan of Goldshaw Farms and Morgan talks about how it's important after you move to your homestead 
to wait the first year to kind of see where everything is, how the weather is, how the land is. And, you know, we did that. And other than we did the garden last year, but I don't have any regrets over that. Um, you know, it's easy to get kind of hung up in, um, you know, the YouTube envy of everybody uh, having all their farm animals and having their farms set up right away. And that's just not a reality here. So this year we will be um, getting chickens, pigs, ducks, turkeys. Um, and I'm so glad we waited because there is a chicken coop on the property, but I think that if we rushed into it and put them in that chicken coop, something would have happened to them because I don't, I never wanted to rush into getting an animal and then, uh, you know, having a predator get them or something that, uh, you know, and, and that could have been prevented if I had taken my time, been patient about it. So um, I'm kind of glad we waited and I'm pretty excited about uh, kind of what's next for us on the Hallaby Homestead. So once the snow goes, um, which it feels like we're a long way off because we just got like a huge dumping of snow, but I feel like once the snow goes, it'll feel more real. We're, uh, we're going to put up a greenhouse and the greenhouse is going to be um, a greenhouse in the summertime and in the wintertime it's going to be uh, for our chickens and birds. And I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's going to be a big project. Um, but we need a greenhouse. Uh, last year, I tried to grow seedlings out of a spare bedroom window and it didn't really go that well. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> The next big project uh, is going to be our fencing and uh, that's going to take a lot of time. We might not finish it all this year but I'm hoping to have a good chunk of it done and uh, you know there's going to be some big changes coming up. Um, just got to be patient and uh, you know I'm, uh, I'm glad, like the point I said before, I'm glad that we waited a year to really think about where we wanted stuff because it's so easy to rush into uh, temporary solutions or putting things where you don't necessarily want them but you're putting them there out of convenience and then you have to move them later. So um, we have a pretty solid farm plan. I have a video to that which I'll link down below um, about where our fencing is going to be. And, uh, and like I said, I'm glad that we waited. Um, patience is key <laughs> because otherwise you end up having to do things over again, right? <laughs> so kind of the nice thing about trudging through the deep snow here <laughs> is that I don't see any fresh wolf tracks, which is good. I think maybe that might have been a one-off thing. Um, I don't know, it just kind of scares me though. The last few nights we've been uh, really keeping an eye on the dogs, especially since two of the dogs are elderly. And uh, you know, that's another thing. I, I think we need to introduce a, a livestock guardian dog to our property once we get some animals and uh, to at least alert us 
of something, you know. But yeah, that was kind of a kind of a scary thing that night. Well, more so the next day, because that night I didn't really realize what was going on. And then the next day when we saw the tracks and the scat, it was like, okay, we have a problem here. But luckily nobody was hurt. So I guess uh, the point of this video is uh, to have a little chat, um, tell you about the wolf, and uh, also to ask you guys what you want to see from us in the future. Do you want to see like a vlog style where we're making videos kind of about our day, what we're doing, or do you want to see um, videos more specific, like how to build a chicken coop, how to do fencing. Do you want both? <laughs> Just let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for all the new subscribers we got and all the subscribers that continue to follow us. It's really cool. And uh, I want to hear from you guys. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, because I, I, I kind of want to hear you guys' uh, input. Because um, I'm not really sure what kind of uh, video format would be the best for this channel. So, uh, let me know what you think. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you've watched this far along, um, I am... The next clip is a cute little video uh, from a couple days ago, which I'll share. Um, if you're not into house cats and don't bother watching but I'm sure there's some people out there that that uh like cats as much as we do so check it out anyways see you next time wiki why are you so angry Vicky, I want to make the bed, man. Like, come on, let me make the bed. Mm. You're an angry cat this morning. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed or something? You want to fight Nova now? Yeah, you just give her a good whack. Stop beating up the blankets. Ricky. Okay, can I make the bed? Why are you so aggressive? She's asking for it now because she's getting right up in your grill. No, really? Okay, I'll come back later then and make the bed. Jesus, you're gonna attack me? I'm the one who feeds you. I know.